Hello, my name is Jim. Welcome to my booktube channel about books and reading and stuff. If you've been following my videos, you'll notice this channel has had a lot of alphabetic tags. A tag, B tag, etc. Now we're on to the G tag. G is for the Great Gatsby, F. Scott Fitzgerald. G is for the Great American Novel. I know, if you saw my A tag, I asked what do you consider the great American novel? And there are many great answers. Rowan of We Damage We suggested Great Gatsby. Also Aaron Facer mentioned The Great Gatsby. But there were several contenders. Gina Stania actually has the great American novel on her bookshelves and she holds it up when she did the A tag video. I will link to the playlist of the A tag in show notes below. There were lots of great suggestions for the great American novel. Steve Donahue suggested splitting it into centuries. So for 19th century, it could be Moby Dick, 20th century, House of Mirth, and 21st century, The Last Samurai. Shelley suggested Infinite Jest. Pay at Attention suggested America by Kafka being the great American novel, even though Kafka never set foot in America. Uh, J.R. by William Gaddis had a couple of backings of the 30 people who tackled the ATAC and suggested something for the great American novel. The most commonly suggested novel was The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn. This was mentioned by Rainier. Uh, Hannah at Hannah's Books, Alan at Big Hard Books and Classics, Kit's World, James Holder, and the Dean at MH Books, they all mentioned Huckleberry Finn. There are lots of other great answers. Grapes of Wrath appeared a few times, Of Mice and Men, Gone with the Wind, which I'll talk about later. Uh, some suggested it was impossible to select the great American novel. Mark Nash suggested it would be impossible. Uh, Jerry had drawn to stories, thought it was a crazy idea. Uh, East of Eden, this is my choice, but I also saw Nadine at Tomb Raider suggested East of Eden as well. Fahrenheit 451, Uncle Tom's Cabin, Beloved got a few responses, and also The Bluest Eye, both by Toni Morrison, To Kill a Mockingbird. My Antonia by Willa Cather, Red Badge of Courage, The Vinland Sagas were suggested by David Wiley, uh, There Isn't One, again this is from Kit's World, uh, Moby Dick, uh, there was also Overly Average Ben suggested The Communist Manifesto, but I don't think this is a novel. So, my prompt, the first prompt for the G tag is also, what do you consider the great American novel? G is for globe. We have many countries which begin with G. Guatemala, Guyana, Grenada, Greece, Germany, Greenland, Ghana, Guinea, a few Guineas, Guinea. Conakry, Guinea-Bissau, Gabon. A lot of countries begin with G. And the country I'm living in, Georgia, begins with G. What was the last book you read by an author coming from one of these countries beginning with G? For me, it will be Little Brother by Ibrahim Balde or Minyan, as its title was in Spanish. Ibrahim Balde came from Guinea, that's Guinea Conakry, as opposed to Guinea Bissau, or Equatorial Guinea, or Papua New Guinea. Yeah, and it's a story, it's his memoir of crossing the Sahara Desert looking for his little brother who had left. Balde was a teenager when he started and he had lots of troubles crossing the desert. He was kidnapped, he was imprisoned, he was robbed. Uh, he often had to do very menial labouring jobs, working on construction sites, mixing cement. He also worked in a chicken factory before he finally got 
to Morocco and he got onto a boat to Spain. It's a very heart-wrenching story and it's a story of common with many migrants who seek out a better life, whether they're coming from sub-Saharan Africa to Europe or from Ethiopia and Djibouti to Saudi Arabia or from Central America to the US. The, the lives of these immigrants is very heart-wrenching, it's fraught with danger, there's a lot of people who exploit them, traffic them. It's, it's a fascinating book. G is for Georgia, where I'm living. Georgia in the mountains of poetry. This is probably the best book about Georgia in recent times. The author Peter Nasmith visited Georgia when it was part of the Soviet Union in the 1980s and visited Georgia as an independent state and talks very eloquently about the current state of Georgia and what he found. Have you read any authors from Georgia? Have you read any books from Georgia or about Georgia? Georgian literature has been getting more notice recently. In the 2020 Booker International Prize, The Eighth Life by Nino Haratishvili was longlisted. And this year, the 2021 International Booker Prize, Pear Field by Nana Ekvtimishvili was listed. Also this year, 2021, Tbilisi is the International Book Capital, nominated by UNESCO. My favourite Georgian writer is Nota Dumbadze. This is Granny Iliko Ilarin and I, and this got me a bean in the Has Steve Reddit tag. Uh, Stalin, George's most famous son, was a great reader, but unfortunately he didn't stick to reading. Georgia is also the name of the American state, that one named after King George. And the most famous book probably coming from that Georgia is Gone with the Wind. Have you read Gone with the Wind? And if so, what did you think about it? Gone with the Wind was published in 1936 and it was a bestseller in America in both 1936 and 1937. It was set in the antebellum South and it's a very controversial book, the way it portrayed African-Americans in a derogatory and stereotypical way, and also the ethnic slurs on the Irish-Americans and the way they were shown. But uh, in a Harris poll conducted in 2014 about the favourite books in America, Gone with the Wind came second. First was the Bible. So it's a very significant book in American literature, and some suggest it's even the great American novel. G is for genre. Is there any book genre that you are keen to avoid? For me, this may be something like vampire romance. I did read one book of ramp vampire romance, never again. G is for Goodreads. I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, but I've been using it since 2011. What are your statistics on Goodreads? I have several shelves. I've read 1,309 books, of which I've reviewed 720 of them. My average rating for a book is 3.77. And I have 274 books on my want to read shelf, which is growing as I watch more and more booktube. Those were my prompts for the GTAG, but you can add prompts of your own. Many things begin with G, giraffe, guitar. This is a green German golf, a gallado, guns. Goofballs, gory, lots of things begin with G. So if you wish to tackle this tag, please feel free to add a prompt or two of your own related to the letter G. Who do I tag? Well, of course, I'll tag Gina Stania. 
Tina Stanya's books. Uh, also Gareth Howells, Grace Dion, Gagging for Lit, and G.K. Reads. Okay. Golden Bears is a If you like this video, you can like and subscribe below, and I'll see you at the next video. Goodbye, Gurushurus.